Welcome back, everybody, to 70s and I'm an old guy gaming. And in this episode, we are going to try and do a quick. Uh, sorry, I had to turn something off there. Uh, we're going to try and do a quick um, POI before uh, the Horde Night. Um, so, what I want to do is I want to make sure I get everything that we need over there and ready to go. So, um, let's do that. Let's grab uh, all the ammunition that we currently have. Not that, you know, I'm planning on using all of this, of course, but we're going to take it over there anyway. Uh, that can go in there, and that can go in there. This can go in here, and this can go in here. Uh, oh, I'm in a bunch of gunpowder in here, too. And we've got points. <coughs> um, we have actually three points, because, uh, you know, I got all that stuff from building. So I think what we're going to do with those three points is we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab a point in Deadeye and a point in Demolitions. And hell, what the let's just do a point in Lucky Looter too. Uh, but I'm going to get Perception up uh, at some point so that we can, um, you know, be really good at hunting with Sniper, uh, really good at, at Explosives, really good at Loot, and oh, Animal Tracker. I'm going to, I'm going to try this. I have never taken this before. And since you know we're gonna we're gonna go the hunting route this time, uh, we're gonna grab that too. I've seen it in action. It's actually pretty cool how it works. So we're gonna grab that too. Um, so now that we can make pipe bombs, um, let's just grab what we currently have. I'm not planning on using bombs a lot, but it'd be nice to have a, a decent supply of them. So let's just make as many as we can with what we have to work with. And. 38. Yeah, that'll be that'll be plenty. I want to actually take that over to the horde base too. That'll be plenty. Okay, so we've got <coughs> um, all our ammo. Uh, let's grab all of our healing stuff and take that over too. Uh, we'll take all the bandages. We don't need that stuff. We have one honey in case we do get infected. You know what though? Let's just take these instead, just in case. Just in case it happens twice. It probably won't, but you never know. Um, and then we have a little over 500 concrete, which will be plenty for, um, you know, for repair work. And I think we're good to go. So let's head on over to the horde base. How are we doing on food? We got four of these. I'm going to, I want to bring a little more food with us. So we have that taken care of too. So let's go back in here for a second. Uh, I made uh, some boiled meat. So let's take a stack of boiled meat and maybe eat one of those right now. We already have a stack of red tea. Oh, shit. I need to put the other pipe bomb stuff back away. I'm glad I looked at that before we took off. That would have sucked. Okay, we'll put the grass over here. The coal can go in the gunpowder box. Oh, we have gunpowder in here, too. Um, well, okay. If Since we have a little more gunpowder, let's just make a few more um, of these. Because why not, right? Why not? Eventually we'll do grenades, but pipe bombs are are not bad uh, early on, right? So we'll make a few more of those too. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's put the rest of this in here. Pipes can go back in forge products, and grass can go back in here. Excellent. Okay, so I think we have everything that we want to take over there now. Uh, so we got some food, we got some water, or, or drink rather, and yeah, let's go over to the horde base, drop all this extra stuff off. Then we're going to run into town and take a job from Wrecked. We don't have a ton of time, but if, you know, hopefully we can, we can get her done. Preferably a, a, um, a, uh, retrieve quest would be ideal because then, you know, then we don't have to clear the whole place if we run out of time, but we'll see what he has, but... I'm excited, man, because we've got such a high loot stage here in the snow biome, and uh, this will be our first time actually looting and going on a quest, so hopefully we get some good stuff. Okay, so let's stop off here, and we're going to jump into here and put stuff in here. Okay, so, uh, oh, I didn't need to bring those. Whatever. Okay. Let's just put all of this in here. I want to take one stack of seven sixes with us. Uh, these we're going to upgrade these with. And these are just here again in case it looks like they're actually going to break through. I can, you know, throw these up and maybe even 
you know, possibly continue fighting him if, if I want to, or at least, you know, buy myself a little bit of time to get out of here. That's the whole plan there. Um, okay, so uh, let's put all of this repair stuff in here. We'll take one stack of bandages with us. All the rest of this I'm just going to keep in here. Uh, we'll keep... Well, actually, no, I want to take the luckies with me. We'll put the pipe bombs and the molotovs in there. Uh, that can go in there. And <clears throat> we're not going to be doing any salvaging while we're out and about. We are not shouldn't have to be doing any digging. Um, and we'll keep the hammer in here too. But I think we want to take everything else with us. Okay. Um, so this needs... Oh, uh, yeah. You know what? I need to make some repair kits. Um, but I'm not planning on using that a lot though. So yeah, if, if I... I didn't make it. <laughs> if I think about it, um, I will. I'll make some repair kits right before the Horde Night starts if we get back in time. Uh, plus, you know, we want to get those pipe bombs too. Okay, cool. So let's go into town. Um, let's take, take a look at our map, make sure we're going the right direction here. Uh, the trader's just right there. And we need to kind of head more this way. I planted, I, I cut a few trees down and then planted to them again. I don't know if they grow if you plant them right on the snow. So I'm just going to wait for a little bit, a couple days, and if, if it doesn't look like they're growing, then that probably means I need to dig down into the dirt and plant them. But we'll see, you know, how that works. Okay, let's see what um, old Rekt has for us here. I haven't even been in here yet. So let's let's do a quick Lutsky. Um, let's wear these two while we're doing a quick Lutsky. Is there anything inside of here? Yeah, there's a little trash thing. Mushrooms. Got some potatoes there. Chemistry station. Oh, nice. We got some gunpowder and some vitamins. That wasn't bad at all. Take that. Check the workbench. Okay, that's decent stuff. Anything up here? Uh, book pile. All right. Nothing in the ice machine. Come on, shuttle bus, give us something good. Why does Rex have a short bus in his driveway? Ooh, wow, look at that. That's what I want to know. I mean, what is up with that? Okay, I guess that's it, maybe? Let's... Oh, shit. I thought you were a zombie. Ah, shoot, I didn't bring my any money with me. That's all right. Quickly loot this stuff. Corn seed, that's good. Uh, we can't harvest any of that. Check the shelves. A little bit of food. <coughs> Excuse me, food, that's not too bad. What has he got in here, by the way? Sugar butts, okay. Um, let's rip off his cash register, his cabinet. And I th think you got one more cabinet we can rip off there. And a shelf. What about this shelf? Yeah, that one too. Wow, he's got a lot of stuff. Okay, let's sell it to him. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at your inventory. Um, we will sell you these and these and... Yeah, what the hell, we'll sell him that. He probably doesn't want to buy that stuff. Uh, will you buy these? Okay, nice. How about these? Yep, he'll buy those. Um, we'll sell that to him. I'm going to keep this, actually keep the scrap rest. I probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. He doesn't want that stuff. Okay. I think that's all he's going to buy from us that I want to sell to him. Hey, you want some sand, dude? <laughs> uh, he doesn't. He probably doesn't want clay. Will he buy some stone? Yeah, he bought a little bit. Okay, we're going to chuck that. And... I guess we could hang on to the rest, put it in the mini bike. There's a few things here I could toss if we need to. Okay, let's look at his inventory. It's got a Crippler mod. That's always a good one. It's got a motorcycle for 27,000. Pump shotgun schematic. We don't, we already, well, actually, we don't know how to make one. We just bought one, didn't we? Huh. Okay, that's pretty cheap. He restocks on day 31. 
Let's keep that one in mind. I might actually buy that. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Let's look at his normal inventory. Nothing super fantastic there. He's got a couple of nice mods. I really would like to get the, uh, the, the beanie mod. Just because we still do get cold a little bit. He's got some antibiotics. Okay, I don't think he's got anything we absolutely need to have at this point. Just doing a, a quick scan through everything he's got here. The one thing I would possibly come and get from him is the is the shotgun schematic. But then on the other hand, if we get to Shotgun Pro... Okay, so this doesn't give us, apparently this doesn't allow us to craft a, like a pump or a double. It just increases quality and the effectiveness of it. Yeah, okay, so it might be worth our while to buy that from him. Uh, but we have till day 31. Oh, we got to get a job. We got to hurry, man. We're running out of time. Okay, I just want to fetch. There we go. That's perfect. Household modular. It's only a tier one, but my understanding is, wait, what are you giving me a tier one quest for, dude? Uh, whatever, we don't have time. Uh, my understanding is that the tiers don't matter anymore with the loot. It's it's the loot stage that matters. Um, and, you know, we've got super high loot stage, so tier one fetch might be exactly what we need, considering we don't have a lot of time here. So let's scooch on over here and see what happens. Oh, yeah, I've done... Whoa! I've done this place many a time, many a time. Okay, let's get it knocked out here. Speaking of getting knocked out, there you go. We're just going to jump right in and get her done because we don't have a lot of time here. Okay, we're going to have a buzzard over here. He did. I'm not even going to loot him. Let's just go jump down here. There's going to be a zombo in here. All right, uh, we'll check this. Just a can. Come on. Okay. Let's do it this way. Yeah, right there. Okay. <laughs> Did we get like a running horde or just attract zombies in town? Yeah, whatever. I'm not too worried about it. Unless there's like a ton of them. There's the satchel right there. Hot darn. Okay. So, um, let's come out here and punish these guys. Okay. You dead. Possible thing for a beanie in here. Um, that's not as good as what we got. All right. We got some fat loots in there. Not all that fat, really, but whatever. Lockpick. Check a couple books in here. Oh, there we go. Um, leg shots cripple all but the strongest enemies and have a chance to dismember. Very nice. And the gyrocopter chassis. That's pretty good loot, really. Think about it. There we go. Dark trap schematic. And learn how to craft time charges, which I don't think I've ever actually bothered to use in this game. Guess they're supposed to be good for blowing up safes or something. What the hell? Oh. And there's Zombo in here. Oh, down with the sickness. That was good. Okay, we got a little bit of food action there and a little bit of backpack action there. Look at that. Okay. What is our loot stage? Um, It is 109. Woo! Nice. Okay, let's go into here. Check the sink. Guess that's it from here. Oh, toilet pistol? Nope, no toilet pistol. Oh, we did take that one point in Lucky Looter, too, so there is that. All right, we're kind of heavy, so is there anything we can get rid of? Um, scrap that. Scrap that. Get rid of this. Uh, three bones? Nah. Don't need three bones. Don't need three things of iron. Don't need two things of paper. Okay, that's a little better. Um, we got a Spidey. And three Zika Roos. 
Get punished. Okay, that's all the stuff I just... Are you dead? You look like you're... Oh, yeah, you're definitely not doing so well there. <laughs> he looked like he was just sitting there contemplating life until I realized his torso was backwards. All right, we got um, a thing there. Uh, all right, uh, robotic parts, arrows. Now for the fat loots. Come on, give us something good. That is not what I would classify as something good. I mean, it's okay. Could have been better though, right? Could have been better. Let's check this. We'll just do a, a basic loot of the kitchen because why not? Okay, I believe that is it. Uh, we already checked the beverage thing, right? Okay, so... You know what? I'm tired of screwing with this. We don't have time. We're just going to take this. It's going to make us a little thirsty, but... Wouldn't be the first time, and probably won't be the last. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, we got a thing here. Medical. Nice. Let's open this door here. We get some of those zombies to come over here and break themselves on these spikes. That would be wonderful. Okay, we got a cement mixer out here. Bird's nest. I'm not taking 87 stone. I mean, it's not bad, but again, we got a we got a ski daddle. Okay, well that loot was okay overall. Uh, we got some nice schematics out of the deal. It's probably the best thing that we got out of that place. That loot was a little disappointing, but... Um, I don't, I, I'm not entirely sure, though, if, like, the tears matter or not. I, I, I was... I heard that they it doesn't, but... I don't know, that didn't seem like... Uh, loot stage 10, 108 or whatever the hell we have um, loot, so I'm not really sure. I guess maybe, you know, we'll just keep doing a few more quests and see wow he was feral man we took his head right off we'll do a few more qu quests in tier ones and see if we can kind of determine what the deal is you're back great here you go spear hunter volume five no, nah we don't care no, give a shit about that but we will take this uh we get yeah see th that's the downside to doing tier three is we get shit xp and and terrible you know loot prices okay Let's sell a couple things to you, so um, we want to shift click that to sell all of it. And what else do we want to sell to you? Do you want two of these? No, he doesn't. Um, baton parts. I don't think we'll be doing baton, so we'll sell that to him. This would be good to save for the, for the desert, so I think I'm going to hang on to that. And yeah, I think that's all we want to sell to him. Don't okay. let the door, door, door hit you on your way out. <laughs> You're just as bad as Trader Hugh. All right, let's let's uh, let's take another job from him, but we're not going to do it now, of course. Why is he just giving me tier ones? That doesn't make sense. I should have tier four. What the hell, man? Uh, Quests. Yeah, look, we've done all the tier ones, all the tier, tier three complete. And we finished opening trade route with Trader Hugh. So why is he just giving us tier one? I don't understand that. That seems broken. And it also sucks big time because this is the trader that we're supposed to be working, working with since he's near our new house. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, we could go over to Trader Joel in the forest, uh, over to the to the east of us, and just see if he's offering tier four quests. But yeah, I'm not, I don't quite get that. It seems a little bit broken, maybe. It is time for our very first horde in the snow biome, horde twenty eight. So uh, let's see, we are. Oh, about 80% of the way to the next level, and we don't, shouldn't have any levels, so we'll see how many we get tonight. But let's get this party started. One of the things I've got to remember to do 
is stand back a little bit further. I get up closer than I really need to, and then I get tagged. So let's just uh, stand back, and hopefully we don't get thumped at all. So far, so good. I do hear banging on blocks somewhere. But this is a pretty stout base, so um, it, it can take a, a bit of a beating. And I think we'll be okay. As long as they generally just kind of keep pathing up this way, we should be good. Okay, we're out of stamina. Let's take a coffee. Sucks when we miss. I do have my um, nerdy glasses on too, so we're good to go there. Let's upgrade that a little bit. Oh man, stay there for a little bit longer. <laughs> Base is almost too effective, right? I feel like I, I need to stand closer, but I really don't. <clears throat> this is this is plenty close enough here. There's a lot more banging on blocks than I'd like to hear. So there is that. Um, but they're also pathing to us too, so it might just be the way things will work in Alpha 20 is that when you know with this kind of a base, oh, I got tagged. Uh, with this kind of a base, there's always gonna be a little bit of block damage. And you know, that sounds obvious, but in Alpha 19 with this design, they almost never touch the base. So, you know, the AI's a little bit different this time, I guess. But this base, you know, even though the principle of it is pretty much the same as our earlier base, it's a lot stronger. Because it's all concrete for one thing, but there's a, more of it and a lot more blocks holding stuff up. The explosive base is going to be the thing that's really going to get us the XP, though, when the time comes. I just didn't feel like I, you know, I, I would have been high enough in Demolitions Expert to be super effective with it. So, trying to take that dog's knee out. That is a tough dog. Alright, let's, um, see if we can... I'm actually doing more damage to these bars than the Zombos are with my Sledgehammer. Okay, so let's... Right... somewhere down there. Something needed something, but whatever. Okay, we got the dog that time. One thing I've noticed that they'll do, too, is they'll, they fall down in the pit, they start attacking the wall for a little bit, and then, then they change their mind and come back up the ramp, so it's really kind of odd how that happens. Right in the face, dog. Can't believe you survived that first hit. The dogs are tough, though, man. They're, they're tougher than they used to be. For sure. Oh, he just kind of decided to go off the side, didn't he? The one thing about standing back is I do have to wait for them to get all the way up to the front before I can tag him. All right, let's take another cough. Well, actually, let's not. Since we have a little momentary reprieve here, we get a little stamina back. Oh, we got a double on that one. Nice. I think that dude might have dropped a blue bag, too. I'm not sure. There we go. Nice. Off with your knee. Oh, look at that. We got a vulture. Dude, go up higher so I can hit you. There you go. Come here. There 
There we go. Another bag. Okay. Well, didn't time that one quite right. Oh man. So you look at her trying to crawl down through, but she can't quite get through. Out of stamina. All right, time for a coffee. Tag there. I was trying to look down there and see what what's going on. <coughs> Excuse me. There's definitely been non-stop block breaking since we started, so I'm I'm not really worried. I think we'll be fine, but just curious to see you know how much damage they're actually doing to the base. See, the thing is, is with the explosive design, we're gonna have a lot less zombie damage because they're gonna die a lot faster. Oh, man. Those guys really have some reach on them. Got a spadider. <laughs> oh, he got me. Doity rant. Tried to make that swing actually connect, but it didn't quite work. All right, what's this do? You can fall to 15 meters while carrying 5,000 Dukes or more without taking damage. Okay. That's an, always an interesting one. Wow, did you see how far that <laughs> spider jumped way over there? That was funny. I wonder why he jumped that way. That's weird. There you go. Perfect. It's a place for you to land, spider. Do that next time, too. Just tagged his arm there. Off to the side there. Oh, perfect. Oh, I guess that I thought that killed him. That did. <laughs> Man, businessman's fast. Oh, we missed him. And stay down. Gotcha, Edgar. All right, let's check blocks here. Everything's in really pretty damn good shape. Oh, nice. <laughs> I love it. Took that dude out at the knee and hit the other guy at the same time. All right, come on, boys and girls. Get over here. So they're not all pathing up here at the same time, but enough of them are pathing, you know, to keep me keep me pretty busy. Um, I'd like to see a little bit more than what's coming just for more XP, but it's super manageable. Oh, 
Oh, he got me. Let's take a small bandage since we're not hurt that bad, but we want to keep our health topped off here. All right, guys. Well, it's past midnight, and I think we're going to do the the usual here. I'll keep the, the camera running, and if nothing crazy happens, uh, I'll see you in the morning, and, yeah, we'll just do some time lapse. Okay, let's do it. Nailed us, wow. I think we're about done here. We got a dog and a crawler. Moon's just about set. That dog keeps keeps falling down uh, into the pit. <laughs> Let's see if we can tag him with a shotgun. 
He comes around again. I don't know which direction he's gonna come from. Sounds like from over there. They have one block that they busted out down there. Come on, pooch. I think there's another one, maybe two zombies with their legs busted off too. Did I kill that dog? Nope, he's coming this way. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right, you know what? Screw this. We're just gonna go get him. We're just gonna AK his ass. And he's been AK'd. Nice horde night, man. Really nice horde night. Okay, how many bags do we have down there? Eh, we got a few. Alright, let's put our, our luckies on. And, oh, we still got one more. Crawling businessman. Alright, got some steroids in there. Okay, useful stuff. Nothing super fantastic, but useful nonetheless. Okay, so let's take a look at block damage. Uh, we lost one block there and one block there, and uh, and some blocks around here. It is really weird that they that they attacked this particular spot. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um, that's mostly it. And you know, all things said and done, that's really not that that much damage. Not much damage at all. Um, I'm like super encumbered here. Oh, I guess I'm crouching. <laughs> uh, I don't see any damage at all whatsoever on the wall, except for a little bit up here. We did get a couple cop spits come in. We did get a few vultures come in. But they didn't touch anything back here at all. This is like completely... Well, for the mo that was probably from my shotgun blast, actually. Um, This is all in just really, really good shape, so... Okay, cool. So not bad. Um, You know, they definitely attack some of the blocks, but... This base is in, in really, really good shape. All things said and done. Um, and we only really lost, I mean completely lost, how many blocks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like we only lost seven blocks, completely lost seven blocks in total. And that's not bad at all. That is very, very acceptable, um, you know, damage for, for all, you know, all things considered. And... I probably won't use this side of the base that much moving forward because I want to use the explosive side. But, you know, if we do, if for some reason we're not ready, you know, by the next Horde night and we, we have to do this one again, um, you know, hopefully at that point I'll be into steel and we can, you know, start converting some of this to steel too. Mostly, you know, like the, the second block up is always the one that's going to take the most damage and then you know since they can walk along here they can hit a lot of this stuff too so all right well cool that uh went really really well uh very pleased with <clears throat> with the performance of the base overall uh we got two levels uh, ourselves too by the way so there's that and um let's go back in here for a minute and take a look at that uh so yeah we got two levels now i think we started kind of working on perception a bit. And so what we could do with those two, <coughs> excuse me, with those two levels is get up to perception three so we can get the second perk in Dead Eye Demolitions Lucky. And we need to put some stuff into Salvage Operations too and Animal Tracker. Um, I really kind of want to finish out Strength though too, you know, fairly soon, um, which means we really only need to bring it up to nine. And then with the cigar, we'll have an effect of 10. And then we can max out, you know, Boomstick, Skull Crusher, uh, the two mining skills in particular. So, but if we want to, you know, if we want to have an effective explosive base for the next Horde Knight, then I really want to get Demolitions Expert up to at the very least two and maybe even, you know, a little higher. So that, that being the case, plus the fact that we have a lot of other good stuff in this tree that we really want. We're going to go ahead and put these two points into perception, and then we're going to get Deadeye, Demolitions, Lucky, and Salvage to two, and 
probably take this first point in this um, in Animal Tracker. So rabbit snakes and chickens, this will be wolves and coyotes, and this will be mountain lions and bears. So obviously because we're in the, you know, the snow biome, we're going to want to take this all the way up. What's that require? See, so perception level seven. So yeah, that works out pretty good. All right, you guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you go here, and I'm just going to uh, get... Ooh, yeah, that took some damage too from the cop spit that came in. Um, we have to really keep an eye on that. Uh, I'm just going to go around and repair uh, the base, get that done, and then... Um, in the next episode, uh, I think it's time for us to start, uh, going, getting back into questing. Uh, there's still a lot of things I need to do around the base. Uh, but you know, I can, I can do that as we go along. We got the essential things, uh, done. The thing that does concern me though is, you know, Trader Wrecked only giving us tier one quests. That does not make any sense at all as to why that's happening. In fact, you know what I'm going to do is let me... Let's go, before I let you go, let's run over to Trader uh, Joel to the west of us and just see if he's doing the same thing. So I'll meet you guys over there. I'm just going to do, uh, you know, kind of put some of this stuff away real quick. All right, guys. Um, I, we're actually back at Rex. I want to check him again and also want to check this. So let's buy... That, um, I don't think we need a jailbreakers. We'll get the dog food and the chicken soup, though. Okay. Now, let's see. you have any jobs? Yeah, they're, see, they're, t st they're still tier one. Hmm. Okay. Um, I did want to maybe buy that shot pump shotgun schematic. Uh, was that here? Yeah. 2160. Yeah, let's buy it. All that damn gawking at goods, and that's all you buy? Because then we'll be able to make a, a blue level shotgun once we get um, uh, shotguns maxed out, which we're going to do. Okay, I'll meet you over uh, by Trader Joel to the to the east of us in the forest, and we'll see what the deal is with him. Okay, here we are at Trader Joel's. Let's check his vending machine. I'll get the eye candy, and that's probably about all I want. I got just the thing for what's ailing you. Okay, so we can do tier fours from him. The problem, though, is that these—they're not going to be in the snow. They're just going to be here in the forest. So hmm, I don't know. I don't understand why I can't do the tier fours from wrecked. That's the one I want to do them from. It just seems really broken. I don't know. Um, okay, well, maybe what we should do is do a quest from Joel. Oh man, look at all the night quests only he's got. I really admire you, friend, and that's why I'm asking you for a thank you. Maybe we'll do one from him and see if that causes something to kick in with Rekt. I don't know. Doesn't make sense, though, really. Okay, well, here. Let's see what he's got in his secret stash. Spear Hunter. Doo -doo. He's got a attack rifle, but it's kind of a crappy one. Uh, he's got a green AK. That's a little better than our yellow one, but not good enough. I, I really need to start getting some armor pocket mods. I mean, I guess I could buy that. Yeah, why not? Why not? It'll give us one more space. Okay, let's look at his normal inventory. Another armor pocket mod. That's it. So he doesn't have any um, any beanies, so we're looking for that too. And nothing else that he has was really all that phantasmagorical. Uh, and look at our loot stage. See, it drops down to 47 here in the forest, so it's like less than half of what it was. Okay, well, here, let's put these pocket mods on here and get a couple of more slots opened up and uh, it's a start oh I didn't really look real closely at the schematics um, where are those gonna be at schematics under science eh, I don't know 
I want to see if he's got the, you know, the, the double pocket cargo thingamadoodle that you can make. Not in there. He's got a spear hunter and a lucky looter. Find more brass and loot. Eh, I mean, that's a good one for sure, but I don't think I'm going to buy it right now. Okay, well, I guess what we'll do is uh, we'll do this quest, for, um, hotel quest. Uh, but we are out of time in this episode, so that will be the start of the very next episode. And we'll just pick up right where we left off. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.